Owned by three different races, Indian, Chinese, and eh, Indian, Malay, and Chinese. <laughs> Okay, um, we, are, we are going to provide three different types of service. Um, the first one will be the ultimate public bar. Um, it will be something like two, but I know why is it, why the picture is not shown here. Um, we are going to provide two different, eh, we are going to divide two sections, which is female section and male section. Um, so you have to take a shower before entering the bath. Um, secondly, we are going to provide the private bar, um, uh, which we are going to provide spa and sauna service uh, in a private cubic. So, the last one will be the highlight of our service, which is known as the instant bar. Uh, by using the concept of car wash, by having a modern twist, we are going to introduce our 5 minutes current buffing. Uh, in five sim simple steps, uh, which is you first you have to remove your clothes and your personal belongings, then measure your height with using a laser beam, um, then rinse and apply shampoo on your body, then rinse again, then there will be a machine to dry your body, then you are ready to go. Then next one, we move on to the location. We will try. Uh, we will plan our business to be set up at Monjara, which is a, yeah, a place where you can see there's a lot of apartments and condos located over there. And our targeted customers are those high-income community live at Monjara, and also some tourists stay over the resorts over there. For our competitors, there are first one is the Energy Day Spa, which is operating over there right now. Their advantages is that they have a lot of very sophisticated um, beauty treatments and they have female and unisex services as well and also they provide a uh, smoke-free environment which is a very good point. But the disadvantage is there's an age limit which only limits those who are 15 and above to enter the room so it's quite inconvenient for some families and mothers to go into. And also, there's no street shoes allowed to enter the room. And lastly, is they they allow tipping, which I think is quite controversial because it may seems to be some misleading to our healthy concept. And the next one is Urban Retreat Spa. The advantages is they are they are awarded the Bazaar 2013 Best Spa Awards, and they have a lot of promotion from time to time. And they have a very new concept known as post workout massage. So it's a quite an uh, interesting one, which I think a lot of people will be interested in it. But the disadvantage is their prices are far too high. Uh, okay, now I'll be talking about the benefits of our services. Okay, first of all, the concept that we're that we're implying on our bar house that will be emphasized more on the rich and beautiful culture of Malaysia. We'll be adding in all these elements in our decoration and kits. For example, we'll be using bucket limited towels for our customers. And next, will be the spices and remedies we are using. All these will be coming, will all be coming from the locals, and we offer a wide range of varieties from Chinese traditional herbs to Indian spices. And next will be the promotion that we are having, we are having uh, during. During special occasion, for example, Valentine's Day, uh, we will be providing special decoration service and also giving out mysterious gift to the customers as an appreciation. And lastly, we will be the advertising method that we are using through social platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Box, etc. And we will also be giving out brochure to promote our service. Then the last will be through the TV and computer advertisement. So now I'd like to talk about the partnership collaborate with the J&J Private Limited Company. The J&J Company is a well-known international organic soap brand which definitely can be trusted for their quality. And the soap we use is suitable for all types of skin, so there will be no worry for the people with sensitive skin. And I'm the CEO of the company. <laughs> I will manage and control the entire business, setting the business plan, and develop our business. And next is the marketing and financial, financial I mean, financial need. To analyze the customer feedback, 
prepare the financial budget, accounting like cost and budget, and manage the salary of the workers. And the human resource administration will in charge by Jia Yi. She will employ the suitable worker and manage the workforce. And the last planner, Sharon. She designed a bathhouse to suit special occasion, generate design idea for special promotion and organize the event. And the mid-level and the low-level employees like cleaner to clean our bathhouse, and the masu to provide massage service, and the receptionist to in charge the cashier and reception part. For the financial plan of our business, first you'll be spending around 300k on our equipment and 30k on human resource. Renovation, we're spending up to 300k around that. And then lastly, we use the spices and the other random stuff around 30k. So we will sum up to a total of 685k. Then we will have a bank loan of 100k from a bank. And our forecasted sales will be a normal monthly is 40k and special occasion will be. That's all for our presentation and thank you. Thank you. Any questions?